guys. How are you doing? Good morning to all of you. I got something really special to share with my fellow model enthusiasts, especially fans of the United States. You're in for a real treat. You've heard of the model, or you've probably seen them on eBay, model from the 50s um, of the ship, made by the Ideal Toy Corporation. Well, that's exactly what I'm going to show you today. You can see the box. SS United States by Ideal Toy Corporation, Hollist, New York. All right. Let's show this beautiful picture of her. A giant 28 inch model you will be proud to display. A perfectly detailed scale model of the world's fastest, most famous ocean liner. Scale is 135 inch per foot. You can see it's got that beautiful painting of the ship on the front of the box. Well, excuse me, the top of the box. We go over to the side. And you can see it comes with a nice plaque. Comes with this beautiful, authentic, embossed nameplate and will be mounted on the finished model. Now, I will be putting up all kinds of pictures because this is very special. This model is, what, 60? If I do my math right, 65 years old, 66 years old. So we've got to give her all the respect she deserves. Completed model can be attractively illuminated with parts contained in this kit. And it goes over, comes with attractive display to display your masterpiece. The display stand on the bottom. Let me show you guys the ends. SS United States Assembly Kit. This is kit number 3701. Let me show you guys the other side. Pretty much the same. SS United States assembly kit. Kit number 3701. And it's got the white circle for the price, the retail store. All right, now let's switch it over and I'll show you guys the other side, the other back. SS United States, the most beautiful scale model assembly kit ever made. Actual size on the box, and it's 28 inches long by the Ideal Toy Corporation. So let's scan down. It's fun, it's educational, it's easy to assemble. Comes with complete illuminating system, authentic nameplate, and attractive ship stand. So let's turn the box back around. Okay, so I'm just dying to open this up because I've been waiting to make the video to show you guys what's in this kit. And why don't we take it over to the desk? That way there, there'll be more room and I'll be able to show it to you better. All right, so I got it up on the desk. It's so big, I had to put the camera back. So hopefully everything is in the shot. So let's go ahead and we're gonna open it. Let's see if we can put this like that. Notice the first thing that the beautiful instructions, and of course, I'll go through them with you. I just want to try to get the box where it would be a nice. All right, let's see. There, how's that look? That looks good. Oh, there's some kind of an advertisement in here. <laughs> Check that out. 
Ideal Toys. The polyethylene C, uh, C, polyethylene T urn set. And on the bottom, you got the jungle gun. If it was the 50s, I'm thinking it might be the Korean War. And you got the cars, the do it yourself auto assembly kits. It's pretty cool and again if you want to pause the video and check out all the pictures that I put up I will put up a ton of pictures so on the back you get the rifle assembly kit and then we have the Betsy Wetsy <laughs> on the bottom and the Campbell kid twins and on the bottom, we've got the pirate ship. That's pretty cool. It says two ninety eight on the bottom of that. I don't know if that's for everything. Oh no, you can see prices on different things. The gun is five ninety eight. So if you want to pause the video and check out this little pamphlet, you can do so. Let's move on to the. The instructions and they're bent because the box the shape of the box it's very narrow but I don't think that's in bad shape considering its age SS United States assembly kit by ideal toy corporation Hollis 23rd New York and it shows you what the finished model will look like in black and white I guess this was the trumpeter of its time because the model for model kits this would have been the like the the way the trumpeter made the titanic today it's a really nice depiction of the united states really the only thing that's missing is rigging i can't tell maybe there is some and it's just not showing up in the pictures so let's open it up and check it out the first section is a parts list like I said, I will put up all of the pictures because I know you guys are going to want to pause and check it out. That's what I would do anyway. The main hull. You got the stand on the bottom and you got the light bulb with the, the cord. The waterline tape. So that's interesting. It's not, you would think that the black and white is separated by the black and red, excuse me, is separated by a white line, but it's actually tape, if you can see that. Lifeboats, the ladders, you can see the cargo booms, the radar, radar shack, and you got the main mast. And on the other side, you have the funnels and the decks. SS United States assembly kit. All of the parts required to build a beautiful true scale model illustrated on the cover of the booklet are contained in this kit. The parts are listed below and are illustrated to the right. Parts are shown full size for easy identification. Well, that's, I guess the hull's not full size, but you get the idea. And I'll put up a picture of the parts list. You guys can check that out. So we got step one. Step 1A. Cement the lugs and a nameplate of the stand. So you're putting the base together and you get to see that, that awesome monument or the, the plaque. And in step two, you have the, the lights. You're putting the light bulb in. And you got the next step, putting the, the deck plates onto the hull. Illustration B. You can see a little more detail when it comes to putting the light together. So you run the light through the base cord. So that would make sense. So it's hidden. 
And again, the pictures that I put up will be a lot easier for you to look at than my shaky hand. Again, these, there's no yellowing or anything in these instructions. The instructions are in awesome shape. You know, this is north of 65 years old, maybe 60, at least 65 in that range. And there's no yellowing. It's just amazing. Illustration L. All right, now we move on to the smokestacks. You can see illustration M and N. <clears throat> and we move down to the bow, the crane. Is that a crane assembly? Yeah. And you got the main mast. It's starting to come together. It actually does have rigging. It says using the black thread. So there is rigging to this ship. I guess not as much as actually would be, you know, because of all the flags hanging off the top and I don't see that, but that's still cool. And now, you got the placement of all the handrails. This is really, this is a cool picture. This is a cool diagram. Man, I'm so glad I got this. Since I've been getting into the United States, I've actually been playing Powerball <laughs> a dollar a week. Just, hey, you never know. If I win Powerball, guess what I'm going to do? Guess what ship is going to get fixed up and treated like she deserves? And that's it. <clears throat> and on the back, you can see there's other model kits that are offered, and it shows the United States. And some cars and the gun that I had shown you in the flyer. 205th Ave, New York City, New York. And that's the instruction booklet. So the kit is basically pretty easy to put together. And it's got a nice uh, painting. It looks like that's the painting that's on the box. All right, let's see what we have in this kit now. I notice there's a lot of tissue paper. I don't know if it came like that or if it was put to protect everything for shipping. That's the first thing we have. All right, we've got, looks like, I don't know if this would be the front where the bridge area would be. This is part of the superstructure. And what else we got in here? Oh, we got the, all right, which way is up? Ooh, there's a hair on it, that's pretty disturbing. So this is the stern. I get, I'm, all right, I'm thinking that's the way. I think. Jeez, I'm not sure. Yeah, because the mold, the little mold marks you can see on the bottom, so this would be the top. And that's the stern. Uh, let's see what else. Oh, we come to our first. Ooh, check this out. Everything is still wrapped in the package. Oh, that's amazing. Look, you got a Christmas tree bulb. And you know that thing probably glows red hot. <laughs> this thing, if you leave this thing plugged in, it's going to get very warm. And it gives you all, it does give you all of the, um, what appears to be all the flags to go on top of the rigging. Or the pennants that she flies. You can see all of the, all of the hand railings. It looks like they're stickers. I thought there would actually be, well, I know there'd be no photo etch, but I wasn't sure if it would actually be plastic pieces or, but those look like decals or stickers. Over here you can see 
where the light bulb, the wires would go into. And I'm sorry, I'm not going to open this. I'm uh, sure you guys can understand. But I will try to show you all the detail in this as possible. And what you don't see in the video, you can pause in the pictures because I will put up a lot of pictures. Well, I usually do. So you got a bunch of screws in here as well. They look like little, I'm not sure what these are, but there are a number of those. Yeah, that Christmas light is, uh, is awesome. Those things did get hot. You guys remember? Um, well, I remember when I was a kid, we had the Christmas bulbs like that on the tree, and we actually had ornaments you hang on the top, and the heat from the light would actually spin little metal parts in some of the ornaments. That's the first package. It looked like that was the wiring parts. What else we got? Oh, we got... Look at the age on this thing. And again, it doesn't look that old. Considering its age, it looks like you could just take it out and start and plug it in and use it. I'll tell you, you can really feel the quality though. Um, from back then to what we get today. It's very thick and solid. You can see the, the way you screw it to the base, or excuse me, into the ship. And because you have to run the wire into the base and into the ship, that's why the plug part's not on. That was in, that was in this section. So that's the wire. All right, what else we got in here? Again, there's a lot of tissue paper. This looks like it's the base. So let's take off the tissue paper. That's beautiful, huh? Now when this comes to the when it comes to the SS United States. Um, if you guys are big fans of this ship, one channel you have to check out, you have to check out Commodore Urban's ch um, channel. He's just got so much related to this ship, and he actually built a model from scratch, and it's like seven feet. It's just amazing. Matter of fact, hey buddy, if you're watching, I'm going to dedicate this video to you because I know how much you love this ship. So Commodore Urban, if you check out his channel, that's, that, that'd be awesome. You won't be sorry. All the memorabilia he's got from this ship will just blow your mind. Let me see if you can see it all in one shot. But that is very nice. All right, what else we got? I can feel... Oh, these must be parts of the smokestack. Let me take them all out of the tissue paper. And this is pre-painted. This model kit, so far, um, the smokestacks are pre-colored. That beautiful, huh? Let me see if I can find the halves that would go together. All right, so these two look like they want to go together. Um, I could be mistaken. Um, I don't, uh, they must be the ones to go together, but I just can't get them to go together right now. Actually, come on, use your head. All right, these look like these want, there you go. These go together. And see the top. This smokestacks are iconic. Let me put the other. Try putting the other one together. So you, just so you can see how how awesome it looks. I 
it's a little bit of um, to make the kit to be a little bit of you know filing or sanding but I, I'm I'm not gonna make this kit I'm gonna leave it the way it is because I've done some research and it's not really that easy to find these kits that let alone made um, let alone well actually hard enough to find them made let alone still in a box like this in this condition so I am not gonna make this kit all right those are the smokestacks what else we have there's nothing else in what feels like the hull so let's take the hull out oh look at the size of that huh <laughs> oh like I said on the box this is 28 inches long oh look at that see it's painted interestingly you know I haven't seen this model actually lit up but the windows the windows aren't drilled out so I guess the white light would just kind of make the whole ship glow it wouldn't exactly you wouldn't exactly see through the windows you see the inside the plastic is very very durable this is very thick this is this is very high quality show you the bow it's beautiful in it is there a part number in there there's no part number but it does show you the compartments so the bow would be well, there's no number in the bow, but towards the bow, there's a number three. Towards the stern, there's a number two. And there's a number one by the, uh, the hole. I don't know if you can see that. I'll put up pictures <clears throat> so you can see it. And you can see the, the stern. Look at that. It's just gorgeous nice and shiny and looks brand new it looks like it just came out of the manufacturers today but it didn't this is very old I'm in my 50s and this is a lot older than I am this is just beautiful you can see there's holes already there for the base see the windows I don't know how well the camera is going to pick up all the detail but like I said I'll put up photographs and you can pause the video and check it out now this ship actually would go 20 knots in reverse y you know she could actually go in reverse faster than a Titanic can go forward and no, I'm not dissing the Titanic. The Titanic is my favorite ocean liner of all time. Transatlantic liner. So let's do a pass. She'll drive by, well, she'll sail by the lens for you. Very nice. Let me see if I can put the hull down over here. I don't want to scratch anything. All right, so we got that over there. What else do we have in here? Oh, I got a, I feel another bag. And this is more parts. 
This looks like it would go near the bridge section of the front of the ship. And look, we got one of the housing, uh, the houses up on a deck for the smokestack. And it looks like we have the, the crane, the parts that would be for the crane. And this one looks, this is sealed as well, so I'm not going to open this one. If I see any of that rope that's open, I will sh pull them out and show you guys, just because it's extraordinary. The age, there's no coloring at all in this. I don't know if it's because the plastic is very high quality. All right, what else we got? I feel another bag. Let's see. Ooh, this one's different colored plastic. Uh, it looks like we have the propellers and we've got the rudder. Ooh, look at that. Propellers and the rudder. And, oh, look at that. We have the anchors on this side. You can see them. Oh, looks like one of the propellers is loose. Let's see. How many propellers are there? There's one, two, there's four of them. You can see the main mast, well, what looks like the main mast. Again, I'm just blown away at the quality of the model kit. It, it's very rigid, it's very solid. I don't know what these are. That's just amazing all right what else we got up oh, looks like we have this the bow section all right so this is the top you can see it's very nice and look how white it is wash them in some mild soapy water and these will be as good as new beautiful let's see if we can put that right on the hull and look at that, it goes right on. Whoop, yeah, make a liar out of me, huh? And what do you think? Beautiful or what? All right, what's the next? The next up, it looks like the main, the main hull plating or decking. And I'm thinking that, yeah, it probably goes this way. Now, I don't know if that's, let's see, I think this is aft. Because I think this might be the forward, you know, the parts of the bridge. You can come out and extends further than the ship. You can see more of the superstructure. would be and I'll try to fit the pieces together to show you how cool it's gonna look you can see the bottom part look at that again the uh, it's remarkable for the condition that it's in a little bit of soapy water mild soapy water be brand spanking new and this probably goes over let's see we'll put the the bow section 
you get the bow section there, and this will go right, right about there. I'm sure there are missing parts, but looking good. So, <clears throat> I feel another plastic bag. What's this? Oh, this looks like the divots for the lifeboats. That's awesome. That's amazing. Look at that. That's just incredible. Of course, ever since the tragedy on the Titanic, the mandate was for many more lifeboats for the mount for every passenger or person on the ship. Happening after the Titanic disaster. You can see the detail in this. It might come up better in the photographs. And everything in this bag, um, they're all divots. Divots or davits? Probably davits. Sorry about that. It looks amazing. All right, what else we got in here? I feel another, yet another plastic bag. Ooh, look at this one. And it's sealed. It's sealed. This is great. We've got another um, building on a deck where probably the other smokestack is going to go, right there. And look at, you can actually see the lifeboats. So I'm very happy. It's looking like everything is here. All the pieces are here. You can see another building now go on A deck. And what is that? That looks like that can go towards the front of the ship, maybe. The bridge area. And you got the other lifeboats on the back. And then check it out. You got the superstructure or the uh, promenade decks. Isn't that beautiful? And it is a big model. So I'll show you the other side. And she passes by on a warm summer's night and all the drinks in the guests' hands and they're enjoying the night air. And I don't know what these look like. They could be hatch covers. That's probably what they are. Is hatch covers. You can't really see the other side. Of it. All right, so put this over to the side. All right, what's next? Oh, this must be the plaque. This is really nice. I don't know if you can read this. It says length 990 feet. The beam is 101 feet. Height from the keel to the stack is 175 feet. Gross tonnage is 51,000 tons. She's got 12 decks, a top speed of 30 knots plus, because I think she did uh, 32 knots or 38 knots during her trials, I'm not sure. Um, 2,000 passengers operated by the United States Lines. The keel was laid February 7th, 1950, and she was launched June 23rd, 1951. Her maiden voyage was July 3rd of 1952. Now that would have been an awesome 4th of July celebration on the United States, can you imagine? And this goes right into, in between the poles, the posts. Let me show you. From the instructions, you can see it would go right about, right about there on the base. It just looks amazing, doesn't it? Come on, ideal. You got to do one of these for the Titanic. 
what else we got? Um, I'm feeling... What is this? Oh, look, it comes with glue. And it's still squishy. The, the cap is... I, I don't have the cap on this, but you can see it's still sealed. It's still usable. That's extraordinary. So it comes with the glue. And I'm assuming that the rigging, the thread, was in that other bag that I showed you. What else is in here? Oh, looks like these are... This is for the... These are for the base. And probably... These probably go into the ship. Let me, let me see. Yeah, so you can see this probably goes on like that. And like that, and then the holes go up actually into the ship. I'll make it a little bit higher, and then you have this, the uh, plaque in the middle. Beautiful. All right, what else is in here? I'm not feeling anything else. All right, let me take the box out of the way so I can know for sure if there's anything else in here. And let's see. I wonder if I could find a cap. It looks like just tissue paper. Nope, that's it. That's everything that's in the box. Put the so that's everything that's in the box. And it's just an amazing, an amazing model kit. You can see it just phenomenal. You get the bow. Actually, let me put the, uh, the stern on as well, the stern plating. I think that's the bottom. And let me get some of the bags out of the way. Nothing happens to them. It's more of a, a tongue and groove kind of thing for this. There's no, like, it doesn't snap into place. Let me just get it to where we can. Let's see, this goes on top of those sections. I mean, it's just loose, but I just want to give you guys a general idea. And we'll do a sail by. And again, the superstructure is in the bag. I'm not going to open that. Stern. So how cool is that? That's just amazing. And that, my friends, is the ideal SS United States model ship. The lighting, like I said, it's got one Christmas light and the hull is really thick. So it's not like it's going to light up like today's models. Well, you could, you could drill through all of the portholes. That is a possibility. That way there, it, it'll show up nicely. Um, are they drillable? Yep, you could drill them. I wouldn't use a power drill. I would use a handheld one. Look, you can see the doors. I don't know if you can see that. See the doors? That's so cool the hatches and there's I noticed there's a couple of windows that were on the stern and are they there nope there were two portholes on the stern section that's not there but that's okay you can see the area where the propellers the shafts will come out again it's a beautiful kit absolutely beautiful 
And that, my friends, if you were wondering about this model kit, and you were wondering what, what it came with, and the parts, and what it looked like brand new, well, I present it to you. This is brand new. Fresh out of the box, still sealed. These bags are still sealed. Got a beautiful plaque, and got beautiful parts. If you're lucky enough to find one in this condition, you can make, if you want to make the model, it would be a very, very nice, nice model to have. And you can drill out the portholes. Let me see, let me put the model on the stand for you without destroying it. Because this model was never, that I know, it doesn't look like it was ever put together. Let's take that off so that doesn't fall off. I don't know if you can see that. That's beautiful, isn't it? All right, my friends. I hope you enjoyed the video. And I'll see you again very, very soon with another collectible.